Next component we're releasing is the audio recorder. Right now it works for web only. Uh, I'm having a bit of difficulties getting it working on native. So we figured we'd release it early for the web, just in case somebody needs to use it for the web. So what does this do? So simply put, you have record, pause, resume, and stop. Right now we're in stop mode. I hit record. Recording is in progress. We can talk and it should be recording. I hit stop. And now it's actually made an audio track, which we can play back. Record. Recording is in progress. We can talk and it should be recording. I hit stop. So that's it. That's, that's the component uh, when you're using it. Um, you will need to allow microphone access. If you deny it, then you'll get errors uh, and you'll have to handle the error and you know show a pop-up that says, please allow this site to use your microphone. So let's go and explore what the component is. So it's called the audio recorder. So there's two different ways that you can use this component. You can use it using the built-in buttons, which are just these uh, four buttons. You can style them a bit. Um, but you know, it's not very nice, which is why we also selected uh, using input actions. So if we do this, when we preview it, the buttons are hidden. And we use the, if you've seen my other videos, we use the set this to true tricks um, to get this working. Then uh, we do have a timeout. So how long in milliseconds? because audio files grow uh, large and these are using base 64, you kind of want to put a limit. Otherwise somebody might record for an hour, hit stop and upload two gigs of data to your database and you'll have to pay the overage fees. So 30 seconds, 15 seconds, usually pretty good. This happens when the recording is started. This happens when the recording is paused. This happens when the recording is resumed. This happens when the recording is stopped. Once you hit stop, it takes some time to actually generate the file. So this will happen, and this is where you actually get the recording. Finally, if an error occurs where the person didn't give you microphone access, you'll have this. So what I've done just for this test is I've set up a database. As I said, the recording is going to be in base64. This is what you're getting back. And I've just used the standard audio player that's found in the marketplace. The URL of the song is the base64 recording. And I've just turned everything else off. So that's, that's really it. Um, let's go back to just the built-in buttons. So again, we hit record, we're recording in progress. If we hit pause, this is no longer being recorded. We can resume the recording and then this will be recorded. And finally, we hit stop. Once we hit stop, we get the new audio track. So that's it. I, I hope you guys like this component.